What's up guys and welcome to or back to my YouTube channel. I am Gabby Moore and today we are doing a endless Q&A and life update video. Guys, I'm sorry I haven't been here for a very long time but I am back and I'm going to be super active and I'll tell you guys kind of why in a second. Today's going to be such an interesting video. I'm kind of nervous. I'm very nervous. But I want to tell you guys what's up with me. I haven't talked to you guys for a very long time and a lot has changed. So I actually came out with a Snapchat series. It's called Endless. If you haven't watched it, I'm going to put the link down in the description so you can watch it. It's a reality series about me and Andre's relationship and just kind of the struggles we were going through. And today I'm going to be answering some questions about that. If you haven't watched it, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. And if you have watched it, you probably asked me some questions. So I asked you guys on my Insta story and my Snapchat story to ask me questions about Endless. The most asked question was, is Endless scripted? Is it real? Um, are these our real problems? Would these me and Andre's real problems? The best way to answer this question is yes, these problems were our real problems. So during Endless, we addressed, addressed and dealt with some of the problems that we had started before we started filming that happened a while ago, or not a while ago, but recently around that area. We kind of expressed how we felt about them during Endless, which you guys saw. It was a lot of arguing. And honestly, guys, the arguing, I, somebody asked me the question. Somebody asked me the question. Um, they said that they were worried that me and Andre argue a lot. Just to say, guys, I know me and Andre had not shown you guys that part of our relationship prior to Endless, but it is so normal to have arguments, and me and Andre's relationship was never perfect. Like, everybody always thought we were unproblematic, we were the unproblematic couple, whatever, because we didn't bring our, our issues really to social media, but they were always there. You know, they were always happening. We were always struggling, going through different hurdles. We were long distance before Endless, and we weren't out long distance anymore. And a lot of problems came from us living in together. Like, it is hard to live with somebody that you didn't live with before. We were long distance before. We weren't used to each other's constant attention, constant presence, you know? Okay, next question. I feel like I could just talk about every, I feel like I could talk about every single question for a very long time and just go on a rant tangent and let them all bleed into each other. I'm going to try my best to, to answer the question just as is and move on. <laughs> Why do y'all randomly break into dance? Okay, so me and Andre dance, I obviously, obviously you guys saw. I feel like our, um, so I feel like Snapchat was just trying to capture that part of our lives, like kind of capture that we just make content everywhere. We dance a lot, you know, and I can't really explain. It wasn't our, it wasn't necessarily my our idea to do the dances, but it was fun. I enjoyed doing them. I like dancing. I dance all the time. So it was fun for me to do, which is another question. Somebody asked if it was fun for you to dance, and it was. I thought it was, I, it was funny, and like in terms of what was going on, it's kind of random. I don't know. It was, a, it, was an, it was a random touch, okay? Don't judge it. Let it be. Let it be, y'all. Why did they do me so wrong in all the thumbnails? <laughs> y'all, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm just like an awkward, when I'm not present in how I'm looking, like what I'm doing right now, like looking at myself, maybe I just make a lot of awkward faces. But those thumbnails did me so dirty. I'm gonna put them on the screen because y'all, they were bad. They were so bad. It was so funny though. I don't know why they did me so dirty. Like, dang, let me live. Let me live. I just feel like I wasn't mentally prepared for reality show, for reality TV and the fact that like you look how you look. You need to be ready for reality TV. You need to be ready to like look good all the time. The Kardashians got that down pat, okay? That's why they got that all that surgery so they can be looking popping on reality TV because it does add a few pounds and it does make you look like like the thumbnails, okay? A spoiler! Spoiler alert! I didn't even say before, spoiler alert for anybody who didn't watch Endless yet. You should probably watch it before you watch this video so you understand what I'm talking about. But, um, they're asking about dance and what happens after the Endless, uh, what I plan to do because I do talk about 
wanting to continue my dance career and grow in dancing. I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted to, I, didn't, I wasn't sure what to do after high school necessarily and I'm still not sure what to do after high school for dance. I want to keep training and I took a very long break from how much I was dancing in high school. So currently I'm just trying to build back, get my flexibility back, get my dancing skill back in general before I decide to um, continue my career and, and, and keep building it because my body is really out of shape. I feel like super insecure, like I can barely go into a dance class like a random one because I just feel like I'm not in shape enough for that yet. That's the first step. I'm not sure what I want to do after. I'm not sure if I want to continue dance as a career or a hobby. But I always, always, always want to continue dancing forever. I never want to not do it, honestly. Tell my body doesn't let me, I'm going to. Okay, I think that's all the questions that I kind of have for Endless. I feel like I, I want to answer more of them, but I don't really have them. Comment them down below, and um, I'll answer any more questions you guys have. Let's move on to life updates. Guys, I can't express how, how, how I'm shaking. Like, I don't know why I'm so nervous to update you guys and tell you guys what's going on, but I just am. I have to, I don't know how to go about it because, you know, I have to do this in a specific order so it makes sense. And I'm literally shaking, I'm panicking, I might cry, we don't know, we don't know what's gonna happen yet. But before I get into life update questions, I honestly wanna take this moment to lead the life update section with how I'm feeling before I answer the questions. I'm literally bawling my eyes out editing this because I'm just like watching myself struggle. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna say it. I don't know how to like put it in a, like how I want to. I don't know how to say how, I don't know how to give a life update without saying it first. So me and Andre are no longer together. We broke up for lots of reasons and like first and foremost I don't want you to think that we broke up because of like the because of Endless or like the things that you saw in Endless like yes Endless was what was going like going on it was real as I said but we did not break up for anything that happened in that show you guys don't know any like not to say you don't know anything but you haven't seen everything you haven't seen the our whole of our relationship so please don't make any assumptions of what happened what went wrong who was wrong any of that stuff because it is not that i I'm not that i never really care about people's opinions but when it comes to this and me and andre's relationship because it meant so much and because it was for so long like i can't have people's opinions on it which is why I kind of wanted it to settle in myself. Like we broke up a little while ago. I wanted it to settle in myself and take care of it in myself before I told you guys because um, our relationship was on a joke. It was very serious and it was very like, it was getting very, very serious. And as I said, we dated for two years and we lived together for seven months, all of that. Also, important, super important, me and Andre are okay right now. Me and Andre are fine. Um, we still have our apartment together in LA. We're still friends, we still post together, we still talk. We are a-okay, was not ended on bad terms whatsoever. And I care about him with my whole heart. He is my family, he's like, I will never not. You know what I mean? Because it was, as I said, our relationship was super serious. I said it, whew, I said it y'all. Gosh, 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 that was really interesting. So after I filmed this video yesterday, I watched all of me and Andre's videos from the very beginning. I went through everything, a lot of our Snapchats, all of our TikToks, just kind of watching the overview of our entire relationship. And I just have to say how crazily grateful I am for him and for our relationship and for how much I learned from him, as well as how much we went through together and the fact that he was there for me through, I feel like more the most compu confusing part of my life. And it's kind of still going on, but it's just like, 
he was my support and I was his support and I'm so grateful for that. Anyways, I feel like there, there might be more of these like random clips in this video because I want to make sure I get, I say everything I want to say. I'm trying to help you guys not to be confused, but even not confused. <laughs> I'm trying to like, I'm trying to put the pieces together so that this video makes sense, but I don't think it will. Um, but it's okay. Where do I go? Where do I go from there? <laughs> I'm gonna explain how I was feeling and why this kind of went about. Okay, so I did break up with Andre um, for reasons that like were mostly about me, if that makes sense. Like I completely lost myself. As you saw in Endless, I don't know if they really said it in Endless, but I did move from Florida to Los Angeles to basically be with Andre. I gave up my life. I didn't have my friends anymore, like my, my hometown friends. I, I left my family that I'm super close to. And I was in a completely new place during COVID just with Andre. And Andre was all I had. And on top of me losing myself, me and Andre were also obviously having arguments and disagreements about stuff as couples do. And over time, I just started to fall down. I wasn't happy at all. And I just realized that I need to find myself again. I need to, I need to find myself again and rebuild myself up from what I felt like was the bottom. Well, I made the decision to move to Florida. Um, I moved back for the summer for a couple months just to build myself up again. And it's working, honestly, guys. If, if, I hope if you guys are worried. <laughs> but honestly, since I moved home, I've been able to dance, go back to my home studio, go back to my roots, and just become myself again. And it's been amazing to me. I am planning to move back to Los Angeles in August. I don't know. I don't feel like I don't feel like I gave it justice. I feel, I don't feel like I've said enough. <laughs> I don't know what else to say though. Um, I'm not gonna tell you guys what we were fighting about or or try to expose him or like have a nasty breakup. It's not me. It's not us. Um, we're not doing a social media breakup or anything like that. Uh, I we're just informing you. I'm just informing you guys. I don't like keeping things that are super big and things that really like will make a huge difference in our lives from you guys. I, I want to keep you guys updated like we used to. I want to share with you my life. I want to share. I honestly, I want to share with you guys my life, my whole life. And I want to get closer with you guys and to build a relationship based on who I am and not as much who I was in a relationship or as a, who I am as in, yeah. One of the questions I want to answer for you guys is what do I look forward to? I'm right now, I'm going to tell you guys my current mindset. I'm looking forward to becoming the best me. I don't plan, not that it's kind of any of you guys' business, but I don't really plan on getting in another relationship. I plan on being just me and growing as me. Cause I just, I also kind of recently-ish just moved out of the house. I'm only 19 years old, guys. <laughs> Another important thing I felt like me and Andre just both needed time independently to figure out what we want in the long run. I'm only 19 and Andre's 23. We're both still pretty young. Um, a lot of you guys were like, get married now. Get married, have kids, like da 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 da. Guys, I'm 19. I just moved out of my house two years ago. Um, I can barely take care of myself. You know, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I couldn't have done all of that. I wasn't ready for all of that. What I'm really looking forward to is starting YouTube. Guys, I am starting YouTube for real this time. I want to share with you guys what my new life is going to be. So now I live in, I live in uh, Miami, basically. I live close to Miami. Um... I do a lot of fun things. I want to share with you guys what I'm doing. I want to share with you guys kind of more of my lifestyle in a more in-depth way. Now that you guys saw kind of my life on Endless, I feel very comfortable to um, vlog more and give some more life updates. Give you, give you whatever you want. Really, give you guys whatever you want to see. If you want to know about Luna, if you want to see my dance journey, if you want to 
see my apartment. I'm definitely, my next video is probably gonna be an apartment tour of my Miami apartment. I wanted to let you guys know about my social media life, kind of, what my life has become why, because of you guys. And I want you guys to continue growing with me. You've been growing with me. A lot of you guys have been growing with me since I was still like a junior. And I think, no, uh, since I was a senior in high school and now I'm almost a junior in college. So after this video comes out, I, I will answer more questions and update you guys a little bit more. But you guys will see more as well. So if you guys have any questions, Jeans, comments, concerns, leave them down below. If you guys are interested in see, watching me grow and continue and growing with me, join me, subscribe. I feel so bad that I haven't been active recently, but I was really honestly kind of scared to be active um, without updating you guys first, because you guys were like, would have been like, where's Andrea? Why isn't she in my, why is she in Miami? Like, you know, all of these questions you guys were spamming my on my TikTok and my Snapchat. But I do love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my apartment tour video. Later on this week, hopefully. Bye!